In terms of the overclocking expectations, for ambient cooling, I expect the following maximum overclocking results when using high-end custom loop water cooling. This is almost the overclock I managed during one of my early recorded test sessions. So compared to Rocket Lake, we have 200 MHz more for single core frequency range, 100 MHz more for all core frequency, 100 MHz more for all core with AVX frequency, 200 MHz less for the ring frequency, 500 MHz more for the integrated graphics, and similar DDR4 memory frequency capabilities. These overclocking margins are also pretty much in line with what we see for extreme overclocking. Now that we've learned everything there is to learn about Alder Lake overclocking, it's time to go into the BIOS and configure what I think is a typical high performance overclock with the Core i9-12900K and EK Quantum custom loop water cooling. I use the EK Quantum Magnitude water block, originally designed for LJ1200, but with an LJ1700 bracket. Then I combine this with the parts from an EK Quantum PowerKit 360. For the motherboard, I use the Asus ROG Maximus Z690 Extreme and the 0096 Beta BIOS. For demonstration purposes, I stick with the UHD Graphics 770 integrated graphics. The overclock consists of a single core boost to 5.7 GHz, an all core stable frequency of 5.2 GHz, an AVX all core frequency of 5 GHz, DDR5 6200 memory with Hynix ICs, a 4 GHz ring frequency, a 1550 MHz memory controller frequency, and the integrated graphics at 2.1 GHz. Upon entering the BIOS, go to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to XMP1. Set XMP to DDR5 6200 40 40 40 80 1.35 volt. Set ASUS Multicore Enhancement to Enabled Remove All Limits. Set Performance Core Ratio to By Core Usage. Set 1 Core Ratio Limit to 57. Set 2 Core Ratio Limit to 57. Set 3 Core Ratio Limit to 55. Set 4 Core Ratio Limit to 55. Set 5 Core Ratio Limit to 54. Set 6 Core Ratio Limit to 53. Set 7 and 8 Core Ratio Limit to 52. Enter the specific performance core submenu. Set performance core 0 specific ratio limit to 57. Set performance core 1, core 3, core 5, core 7 specific ratio limit to 56. Set performance core 2, core 4, core 6 specific ratio limit to 55. Leave the specific performance core submenu. Set efficient core ratio to by core usage. Set efficient 1 core and 2 core ratio limit to 42. Set efficient 3 core, 4 core, 5 core and 6 core ratio limit to 41. Set efficient 7 core and 8 core ratio limit to 40. Enter the specific efficient core submenu. Set efficient core group 0 specific ratio limit to 42. Set efficient core group 1 specific ratio limit to 41. Leave the specific efficient core submenu. Enter the AVX related controls submenu. Set AVX2 ratio offset to per core ratio limit to user specify. Set AVX2 ratio offset to 2. Leave the AVX related controls submenu. Enter the internal CPU power management submenu. Set regulate frequency by above threshold to disabled. Leave the internal CPU power management submenu. Enter the thermal velocity boost submenu. Set overclocking TVB to enabled. Set 1 core active to enabled, set temperature A to 40, set negative ratio offset A to user specify, set ratio to 1. Leave the thermal velocity boost submenu. Enter the VF point offset submenu. Set offset mode sign 7 to plus. Set VF point 7 offset to 50 millivolt. Leave the VF point offset submenu. Set ring down bin to disabled. Set min CPU cache ratio to 40. Set max CPU cache ratio to 40. Set max CPU graphics ratio to 42. Set CPU core cache voltage to adaptive mode. Set offset mode sign to plus. Set additional turbo mode CPU core voltage to 1.35 volt. Set CPU graphics voltage to offset mode. Set offset mode sign to plus. Set CPU graphics voltage offset to 150 millivolt. Then save and exit the BIOS. We can boot straight to the Windows 11 operating system. In terms of performance, 
we can see a CPU Z score of 897 and 12,168 points and Furmark running at 35 frames per second. Of course, I cannot guarantee that every CPU in every system with every kind of custom loop water cooling will achieve this kind of an overclock. This is just what I was able to achieve with this one CPU sample. 